welcome back to my channel. Today for you, I'm bringing you a Trader Joe's haul and shop with me video. I'm gonna be taking you guys along with me so you can see all of the new fall pumpkin flavored everything. Like literally, there's everything. My son had, I think he sampled like a pumpkin flavored ravioli. Like who does that? So weird. He said it was really good though. So I didn't try it. I'm not into pumpkin, but I'm gonna bring you all the pumpkin stuff that I can possibly find in the store. So you guys will be coming along with me today as well as me showing you all of my favorite items from Trader Joe's. So if you guys are into this, definitely consider subscribing and hitting that little bell notification. I do a lot of mommy, lifestyle, organization videos, and I would just love to have you. I'll be listing everything that I can in a down bar, including my website. It has everything you need all in one place. And if you feel like depositing some positive energies, give your girl a thumbs up. I'd so appreciate it. And if you guys want to come shopping along with me and see everything that Trader Joe's has for this fall season, all the pumpkin flavored stuff, and see what I like to purchase from Trader Joe's, then just keep watching. Like a fever, are magically in Trader Joe's. I'm going to take you guys on this journey through Trader Joe's to show you all of the amazing fall things like these pumpkin spice cookies. They had these pumpkin flavored Jojo's and the original ones, but they did them Halloween style with the colors and this cute little haunted house chocolate decorating kit. I saw these walking out. I had to get a shot, the pumpkin spice granola bark. But you guys, there's so many things to choose from, like this cracker aisle. Like, have you ever seen this many types of crackers? But what's cool is there's so many unique variations, like healthy variations, like gluten-free, all seeded, whatever it is. Like this popcorn, I always get this popcorn. It's extra virgin olive oil, and I absolutely love getting this stuff. It's really good and more healthy. These pretzels, people love these things. They're one of the top rated things. And this salsa, like there's so many different types of salsa, mango salsa, peach salsa. There's just so many varieties and variations, but these chips are amazing, you guys. And I love that they're bite-sized, those organic ones. So anyways, as we stroll along here, you're just gonna basically be seeing all the different types of chips and snacks. But this Bamba, get on it, girl, if you're not on it, it's so good. These are basically peanut butter puffs. Mm, so good. But I got some of these bat-shaped chips. I thought, how cute for a little party. And the baked good section is amazing. I'm a sucker for baked goods, you guys, like a sucker. So anyways, there's so much to choose from. I thought I'd just give you guys a little peek into all the different baked goods that they have, but your girl's trying to be good, so I'm not gonna be purchasing too many of these today. But not that it's because I don't want to, I definitely do. Here is some more holiday items for you guys, the pumpkin muffins. And these were so cute, chocolate mousse pumpkins. I kinda wish I would've got those. But you guys, this Danish is amazing. If you like pumpkin, I'm sure it's really good. I'm not getting this one, I'm waiting for the cinnamon one during the hol holidays, but stock up and put them in your freezer for company or parties, they're amazing. And then they just have a bunch of different cinnamon rolls, biscuits, and I saw this butter, which looked really good. I'm gonna get that next time I'm there, but the brown sugar, and then there was, I think, a garlic butter, but here's all the pumpkin butternut squash mac and cheese, pumpkin waffles, pumpkin little cones, pumpkin ice cream, ice cream, pumpkin marble mousse bar. Like, there is so much stuff here, you guys. Pumpkin cheesecake. I told you guys I was gonna find you all the holiday stuff. <laughs> And then this is just basically all of their regular items that they have. This is like the baked, frozen baked goods, which I hear really good things about them. I haven't tried a lot of them, but I hear really good things about everything. All of the people that work there always say and rave about all of the sweets and stuff. I got some of those macaroons. I'm super excited to try them. But that brown rice is amazing. I get it every time and I just cook it on the stove top. And another thing that's really popular here are all of their frozen like bagged meals. A lot of people just, you know, get them when they're in a pinch and they need to whip something together if, you know, they're in a hurry. But I love getting these just as backups. I don't get use them all the time, but I like having them in the freezer just for flexibility and, you know, just to have a peace of mind and know that I got a meal to whip together really fast if I need to. But, oh, those looked good. What were those? Look like corn and bean quesadillas. I've had these burritos before. They're pretty good. The enchiladas are good. Um, I just got this mac and cheese. This is the gluten-free mac and cheese. I'm definitely gonna try one of these. 
I've really never had anything that was bad. I mean, to be honest with you, there's usually it's decent or it's really, really good, but I haven't had anything where I'm like, ew, that's gross. I actually had these pot stickers there. I think they were cilantro something pot stickers, but they're really tiny and they're actually on the Weight Watchers plan, which is kind of cool, but it was, they were really, really good. And I've never had any of these other ones that we're looking at right now, except for I have had these peppers. Those are super easy to whip up when you're making a dish. And I've definitely had the frozen vegetables and fruit. Oh, those are the cilantro ones right there. Those are really good. And I definitely use the corn, the organic corn in the freezer, which is really nice and easy to whip together. Now this part is something you don't wanna miss, but I feel like it's overlooked because it's above the freezer section. So definitely look up when you're in the freezer section, all of these like cookies and specialty packaged items that are always amazing. I've tried, I've definitely tried a lot of these. Oh, and a quick tip, you guys, if you go here and there's something that you really, really wanna try, Trader Joe's has this policy where you can actually ask them to open whatever you want and you guys can try it. So if there's something you have to try, like I did that with the Bomba, he actually opened up the bag for me and I tried it. But how yummy do these peanut butter things look, you guys, yum. Um, also, they have chocolates, packaged chocolates, they have baker's chocolates pretzels galore. I always get these little cookies for my kids. We do the like animal cracker ones, but the kids love those. I know everybody raves about those dark chocolate almonds. I haven't got to try them yet myself, but they look really good. These s'mores things look so good. I'm definitely gonna get those next time I go back in. I am now back at home with all of my groceries. I spent over $230, which is pretty crazy, but I do have a family of six, so I had to get a lot. The first item I wanted to show you guys was this mushroom black truffle flatbread. I saw this from Miss Liz Hart. It looks super good. She did like a salad with balsamic on top, which sounds bomb. I think I'm gonna try that. And then the next thing was this gluten-free mac and cheese. I always like to find a little bit healthier versions of what my kids already enjoy to eat. So this is definitely a good option. And just like this turkey corn dog, which corn dogs are definitely a splurge, but you know, turkey, it's just a little elevated when it comes to to health not the best but oh my goodness I love this we're gonna have this tonight actually this is Argentinian red shrimp and it's big it's plump it's so good you guys and they already devein it and um, take the tails off my kids love these hash browns you put them in the oven and they come out super crispy I highly suggest these we could we do this on the weekends then we got these French macaroons which Oh my gosh, they are so good, just like you would expect them to taste. Then my family's favorite are both of these next two items, these Gone Berry Crazy. These are chocolate dipped strawberries that are in the freezer section, as well as these bananas. And when you're craving something and you need something sweet, it's such a perfect alternative. Next, we have our Power Greens, which we cannot live without. I obviously bought a million bags, but I make smoothie packs so we can just throw them in the blender. Then I got spinach and Butter lettuce, I love butter lettuce. It's my absolute favorite. We also got some broccoli and some broccoli slaw, which you guys try this broccoli slaw and kale salad, so good. We always get berries here. I feel like they're really, really good prices when they're in season. Strawberries, raspberries, blueberries. We got apples. I love jazz apples, they're super crunchy and sweet. We got some Granny Smith and we got some avocados. Then we have these Trader Joe's yogurts. My kids love these. They always like to get both kinds and their favorite thing to do is put these in the freezer. So it's really nice instead of ice cream, they feel like they're getting a treat and it's actually organic yogurt. We get diced onions because, hey, sometimes I feel lazy and it's so much easier just to throw this in as well. Same type of deal with this garlic here. It's already peeled and ready to go for you, so I absolutely love using this. Then we have this pub cheese. I have not tried this yet, but this is cheddar with jalapeno and it looks really good. So I will let you guys know how it tastes, but I'm sure it's at Trader Joe's. It's gonna be amazing. Next, I literally just tried this. Italian truffle cheese. Oh my goodness, it's amazing. It's cheddar cheese with truffles, so, so good. 
Then I got some beef, beef broth because they were out of the chicken, but I'm gonna be doing a beef dish soon. These chips, like I said, they are bite size, so good. And they also have salt-free version, which I usually get those, but I felt like having salt on them. These plantain chips, amazing. They're not sweet, they are savory, and it's just like having a potato chip. They're so good, my son loves them. I have not tried these yet, but they look really good. And then also the crisp bread. I love this crisp bread, I get it all the time. I put anything, like to make a sandwich, or whatever it is, super yummy. Then this peanut, butter protein granola it's got about i think 10 grams of protein my husband loves this stuff we put it on like acai bowls yogurt whatever my kids love this panda puffs organic peanut butter cereal that's their favorite and all of the children love these strawberry crushers now we got a couple unique items these churro bites my kids have a tournament tomorrow so i picked out a couple things that they would love candy corn popcorn which does not sound really good so and we always get these they're gummy tummies they're kind of like gummy gushers so they're like filled with gummy stuff on the inside super good but Trader Joe's is the best place to buy nuts. Like this is 50% less salt, dry roasted. There's so many specialized things you can get. Um, you can get unsalted, you can get raw. There's so many variations, but I love these roasted and salted pecan halves. Like they taste like dessert to me. We also got some mango slices and some dried pineapple rings. I love these because they're unsweetened and unsulfured. So way more healthy. Then I got this black pasta, which is actually, it's dyed with squid ink, which is really cool. We're gonna use this for one of our Halloween parties, but how cool is it that we're gonna have black pasta? Then we have this pumpkin shaped pasta. How cute is this? It's butternut squash, so super cute, but I always get all of our pasta sauces here. This is tomato basil, this one's roasted garlic, but I always get the marinara that has zero salt, and then I like to mix them together and just kind of control the salt, you know? And then I always get our tuna here. This has got 50% less salt than normal. I'm trying this for the first time. This is enchilada sauce. I will let you guys know how this tastes. But the next two things, oh my goodness, these are like probably one of my top two favorite items, the chili line seasoning blend and the everything bagel. But seriously, if you love everything bagel, you are going to love this seasoning. You can put it on everything. It's amazing. I put it on eggs, I put it on avocado toast, anything you can think of, it's so yummy. All right, you guys, that was my Trader Joe's shop with me and haul video. I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know by giving me a big fat thumbs up and I'll be listing everything, like I said, in the down bar. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell if you haven't already done so. And if you've made it all the way to the end of this video, thank you so much. That shows so much support when you watch my video all the way through. So thanks again, you guys, so much for watching. Until next time, I'm always your girl, Marjorie. Bye.